Okay. Uh, let's go. Hey guys, what is up? It is Friendly Neighborhood Rubicus here, and this is a Pyromancer commentated run. And I'm gonna hope to sweet god that I don't rage this run like I did last one. This is ideally going to end up being posted to YouTube, and it's gonna be an explanatory run of a, the Pyromancer speedrun. Already making mistakes, but that's okay. <laughs> So what I want to do is I want to unequip those so I can still light roll with the Drake Sword. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing, I might cough a bit during this run. Um, because I am still getting over a cold. So... Yeah, Kevin, shut up. So, basically the idea behind this run is I'm going to use Pyromancy to kill bosses. That's it. Nothing special. Um, these splits are not actually my pyro PB. They're close to it, but not actually the pyro PB, because the pyro PB was just very, very slightly slower than this. Yeah, these are old splits too, so. Uh, the names of stuff is weird. <laughs> like, better bullshit and skip be trolling for Seath. Um, but, this run is significantly slower than most other runs. But it's fairly consistent, so that's the benefit it has. Portable door, this is not all bosses, no. Forgot to change my title again. Fuck me. Ugh. Oh, come on, I blocked that? Really? Okay. So get the double hit, you got it. Pyro flame. So there's there's a different way you can do this where you just attack well, okay. The asylum demon twice, um, with your axe and then throw fire, but I don't think it's actually that much faster if any fa if it is faster at all. <coughs> huh. So that is the first boss, of course. This is actually Decent pyro time? I honestly don't know. I haven't done pyro runs and a pyro run in forever. Like, completed one at least. So, we're gonna. Mr. Firelink, because I need a tenth dex point to use the Drake Sword. Need the humanities because I will be doing the Lost Isleth shortcut. Cut him up, cut, cut. Um, I am gonna play it safe with the Drake though because I am playing with DS Fix Unlock 30 FPS, and uh, basically the Drake can kill me, and that's not how it's supposed to happen. Like that isn't supposed to happen at all. But so I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it safe there. So that's why you, instead of running straight forward, I'm gonna juke back and then go. I would have been safe, but that's okay. There's a glitch with the uh, unlock 30 where that Drake can kill you for no apparent reason. So I'm coming to the Undead Merchant for about five throwing knives and a dagger. And then we're gonna go this way. We need to pick up our nice little resin. Not doing blue tear stone drop because I need resin. Killing those guys because I have to wait anyway. Might as well pick up some free souls. Ooh, bad RNG. That's okay though. Got past him. Okay. Nice little jump. And then we're gonna jump the barrel. Don't wanna goose it. Never, nobody wants to goose it. Then we're gonna equip dagger, apply resin. I'm gonna keep one handing the dagger because two handing it is gonna apply such a low amount of like I guess return in terms of damage that's not worth it. Taurus is the hardest boss in the game, by the way. Just 
if you didn't know. So there's Taurus Demon. Ugh, that was messy. So, <clears throat> that's why I got the dagger. It's actually a faster kill on Taurus than the hand axe, and I wanted to stop at the merchant anyway so I could get throwing knives. The reason I want throwing knives is so I don't have to go down and kick the ladder before Drake. This guy. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to get my throwing knives out, and then throw one right up into the sky, and that should aggro him. Perfect. Three quick slashes, gets the Drake Sword. Equip Drake Sword. And we're good. So, now we're going this way. This is the fastest way to get to Gargoyles, by the way. In case you were wondering. It was across the Drake Bridge. I'm going to do something a little different. Some people might not know about this strat, but I think it's pretty neat. <clears throat> um, so, alluring skulls are n awesome because... this. So, that's past him. And then that. And that's past them. So there we go. We cleared those two rooms, much e those two spots much easier than ever. <clears throat> so now we have gargoyles, which Shouldn't be too hard with the Drake Sword. Drake Sword's a very. I don't know. I wouldn't say easy gargoyles, but it's easier. Come on, gargoyle. Come on, gargoyle. There we go. That was weird that he just didn't, like, stagger. Okay, decent gargoyles. <clears throat> Vendinar, I don't have to chop the tail. It's actually completely optional. Three hit staggers. <clears throat> Honestly, speedrunning is not just like. It's not even like first time you're gonna fail. It's like you're just gonna fail a lot. So I'm gonna buy a Ring of Sacrifice, which is a little peculiar, but it'll make sense in a bit. So, kicking Lawtrek off, not actually picking up the ring yet, because I don't need it. Um, don't need throwing knives for now, let's just put... Actually, let's just use that. Don't push the button. Oh god, the emoticons. Alright. Okay. So now we have Blight Town, which is a big pain in the butt, to put it lightly. 
and <clears throat> we actually have to rest here. This is quite literally the only run that doesn't bone out of uh, Playtown. Reason being, I need. Oh, 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 this is a bad choice. Okay. <laughs> I need to grab power within. And there's no efficient way of doing that and not dying. So, or homeward boning. So, I'm just gonna die. And so, this is the bonfire that we rest at. There is a specific reason that I haven't leveled up at all yet. Um, I need more souls. I, I realized last time I did this, I realized that I missed some amount of souls. Because I didn't have the attunement I needed to do what I wanted. Okay. Ow. So that toxic guy will shoot you once, almost always, unless you roll it. No, I did get Ring of Sacrifice, that's the point. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing now is I'm going to climb up here and go to where Power Within is found, basically. That's the gist. And then I'm going to use the Ring of Sacrifice and g get the Power Within in a very sneaky manner, and then, oh god, that was scarier than it should have been. Uh, let's Estus now, because we have to Estus twice anyway. Efficient use of stamina. So, I'm going to climb up here, there's a fog wall coming up here. And the toxic dark shooters are annoying. So here's the fog wall, this is where I enter, ring of sacrifice. Two hits, should guarantee him, did I break the game? What the? Okay, um, well this is a really awkward situation that we found ourselves in. <laughs> he should fall after two hits. I think I it's because I hit him as he was climbing on the ladder and it broke. Okay, so <clears throat> ring of sacrifice is on. Uh, I'm gonna kill one guy, this guy right here. Well, let's grab this first. Because he's he can really get in the way when trying to do this. So wait, roll, grab, and then die. We apparently I, I took the slowest way to die. Water was I didn't look up how to get to Painted World, and I got there. So reversing hollowing to fight Mildred. Patience. Good. Did not soft lock my game. Sweet. <laughs> yes. Small victories. So here's Mildy Poo. Nice little backstab open this. Ow. So Mildred's dead. I need her for souls and that. Humanities. <clears throat> oh, the chat's going cray. What you doing, chat? Chat is behaving, I will admit. That is nice. I'm just gonna use this now. <laughs> wow, Mackenstyle, you, sir, don't understand how this works. 
Uh, thank you, whoever did that twin, probably. Oh, I should have popped that before entering the fog gate. This is a poor choice. Please jump. You did not jump. What are you doing? So I power within for Quelag because it makes her actually like doable with Drake Sword at any reasonable rate. So the key to Quayleg is stick by her nose, never get trapped under her. Because if you get trapped under her, uh, you are as good as dead. Like I almost did there. So there we go, Quayleg's down. That's not bad. Uh. <sighs> I'm gonna pop the twin if I... oh great. <laughs> Come on, get over them. <laughs> so the hardest part of the run right here, gotta talk to Engi and gotta say yes. Sweet. Did it. Uh, don't need Drake Sword anymore, I don't think. No, I don't at all, actually. So I'm entering the Covenant, which I'll be coming back to much later. Um, but for right now it's mostly just so I can get the Grey Cast Fireball. And then I'm resting, so this is my now my warp point. I also have some moss on my bar rather than Homer Bones, which doesn't make sense. So I'm popping power within here just for the stamina regen. Jake and Yite, I know. I didn't have... Uh, my Both my main hands were fill, full, and I didn't want to accidentally Drake Sword slash Engi. So... Now we have to kill Ceasus for even more souls. Yeah, if I say no to Angie there, apparently quit reloading works. Um, but the issue is you can't use him anymore. If Like, if you kill him, you can't use him. You need to use him. Correct. Kicking is not considered aggressive, but attacking him with a drake sword is. And I, my, one of my hands was a pyro glove, the other one was a drake sword. I could have kicked him with, if, with my drake sword on the main, but, um... That would have been risky to me, because if I messed up the kick, I would have attacked him, and then I would have lost Engi, and I wouldn't be able to upgrade my glove after Ceaseless, which is why I'm killing Ceaseless. If this route didn't need the souls from Ceaseless, ooh, it wouldn't actually kill Ceaseless, because you have more than enough vitality to do the Ceaseless skip later on. Oh my god, Melk, I want to look at that so bad, but I'm running. <laughs> so... Now we're going to run back to the entrance, we're going to do the classic ceaseless strategery, where you just punch his hand until he falls off. And I'm going to pop all of these many souls. And maybe I've done the same. It's bad. It's real bad. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit slow, but I think this is the number of souls I need. I honestly don't know. <laughs> Should
should only be five. Look at that. Bow! Bah! 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 So I need to wait for his homeward bone. Whoa. Okay. Can I do this? I'll have 10k, 5.5. I think so. Yeah, I think that's fine. <clears throat> Cecil's Discharge does sound like an STD. Well, specifically it sounds like an issue that you'd have with far too much um, ejaculation. So the reason I wanted a plus 11 a glo a glove is, first of all, I want a plus 10, so... Um, Lana shows up. Should be able to light roll. Yep. I want plus 10 so Quilana shows up, and plus 11 just so happens to be a very nice number for most of the bosses in the future. Also, yeah, don't worry about these splits. They're going to look really off pretty much throughout the whole run. Um, so... <clears throat> I'm going to ask this once before going out too far. Also, I'm going to get some frame frame rate issues here, which can actually be really bad. So the reason, again, power with inning for stamina regen. That's like the only reason. So the reason I'm looking down, well, one, lag reduction. Two, if the game is running at less than optimal FPS, I actually don't roll as far. Another issue with the unlock 30. Okay, purchasing, great combustion, combustion. And then that's it. We're done with Koilana. That's the run. <laughs> um, it's quite literally the last we'll see of her. Sweet, got out without poison. Perfect. So we'll go here, pop into the Humanita, and we're pretty much good. Yes, Jay Clark, the FPS unlocker is allowed for speedruns, but you have to cap it at 30 FPS. If you go to 60, it makes everything weird and Duke Skip impossible. 30 is fine, though, because it only makes, like, three... Yeah, three things are different, and that is all. Um, one, being the Drake possible, possibly killing you. Two, the hollow who pushes down the flaming barrel might die. And then three, is not rolling as far with lower frame rate. That's it, though. There are no other noticeable differences, and all it does is make the frame rate much more smooth. That's why I use it. So now we're escaping Blighttown. Again, this is the only route that actually has to... Uh, escape Blight Town. All the other ones just kind of homeward bone out. Okay. Yeah, my frame rate in Blight Town's fine, except for that one spot. And it just so happens that that one spot is uh, is one of the spots where frame rate and locker can make the game act slightly differently. So, that's unfortunate, but it happens. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm in Valley of the Drakes. And we'll be climbing up. So there's the reason I didn't send up the lift or pick up the Ring of Fap is one, I didn't need the Ring of Fap, and two, I'm coming back up. And I need the lift down here. So it should be here, yes. Making sure I have all of the souls. Hey, sir, Neil. How are you doing? Also, I kill Sif before uh, Iron Golem, so this is, these splits are really off. No, there will be fapping this run. Do, you, do not worry. Here it is, in fact.
By the way, Malk, I fucking love you for making that, seriously. Oh my god, you have no idea. I haven't even looked at it yet, and I know it's great. Okay. So now we take the lift that we sent down before gargoyles. Gonna pop some extra humanities, because why not? Okay. Fine now. So, um... I need a thousand souls for the shield. Do I even have enough to get 19 attunement? I don't think I do. I think I'm, like, I can get, like, 18. So, by the way, every time that I, like, drift off in one random direction, just assume I'm looking at chat. Because <laughs> walking straight in this game is hard. Let's see, do I have enough souls? 19. Nope, I can have 18. That's why exactly what I thought. That's okay, though. Um, I don't need combustion for Sif, or at least I shouldn't need it. Where can I get a couple more souls? Like 800. So I need to buy a shield, and I'm going to go with the... Whoops. The better shield, which is Tower Kite. Anybody who says otherwise is a liar. Arachite's far better than Caduceus. Whoa! Your tail hit me. Why did your tail hit me? You're a cheater. I might need combustions for Sif. Uh-oh. Oh, good boy. Fortunately, you can't buy the shield after you kill Andre. It sucks. Because otherwise, that'd be great. Yeah, dude. Tower Kite's way better than Caduceus. For Sirius. Okay, so now souls are not even an issue in the rest of the run. Or at least they shouldn't be. Um, basically, I just have to mash Vitality and Endurance and beat the game. Okay. So if you hug the left edge of the forest, the sorcerer will never attack you, and then if you run straight to Alvina's tower once it opens up, <coughs> the knight will never catch you, bandit will never hit you. You can come close like that, that's probably the closest he's ever been. Talk to Alvina, they drop aggro. Seven spirits, my power glove is at plus, e er, yeah, plus 11 right now. Um, but don't follow along with me, because I don't do that. You want plus 10, if you're doing Ring of Sacrifice. If you if you're going ring of sacrifice as as it is right now, I actually can't. If you pick up the soul of a nameless soldier on the bridge, the Drake Bridge, I can definitely see why. Like I can see a way of actually doing it that way. Jay Clark, the Caduceus has a design on it. It's really hard to see, but in certain light, it's very visible. It's neat, but not as cool as the Rook. It's all about that Rook. Just gonna ask this one more, once more for safety. Cerno, why do you just keep doing emotes? What do you want from me, Cerno? What do you want from me? So I'm being really careful with my spells against Sif because, whoa, hello. Because I don't have many to miss, I guess. Sif, what are you? Sif, stop jumping. Did that... that missed. Are you kidding me? 
That's retarded. Okay, that's fine though. Limpy Sif, no! That's okay. So I'm gonna use the Soul Sif before boning just so I can get the Homer bone from Sif. So again, these splits are really wrong. Don't pay attention to these splits. Uh, so get that, and then Vitality! And some Endurance. How about 15? And then Vitality! So, <clears throat> now we have Sun's Fortress, which is it's pretty easy. It's fairly straightforward. I also realized that I forgot a Firekeeper Soul in Parish. You're supposed to pick up the Firekeeper Soul in Parish. Um, so, there's that. A lot of people t have told me that I sound like Cosmo. I don't see it. But then again, we're both from Chicago and speedrunners. I can see it. <laughs> I can see where the like where the the line could be drawn, um, the comparison. But like, eh, I don't. Honestly, I don't think I sound like it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I do. But people have said it. Okay. I think the only reason I might sound like Cosmo is because we're both Chicagonian. <laughs> is that a word? Ch Chicagonian? Chicagans. There we go, Chicagans. We're Chicagans. So here's Sense. It's really fun. Even though people hate it, I love it. Yeah, the accent or lack thereof, I guess, is very similar between me and Cosmo, which I guess... I guess it's kind of like why some people say Nubist and Viking sound similar. Say hi to Opera from, for me. Oprah? Are you... what are you saying? Opera? <laughs> what do you want me to say? What with you? What do you want me to say? <laughs> okay. So, uh, there's supposed to be a consistent strat for Iron Golem fast kill. <coughs> I'm bad at it, but I'm gonna go for it. I'm feeling cray. It didn't work. Oh, it worked like a second too late. That is unfortunate. Oh wait, I guess I should... Okay, I'll take that. Sure. <clears throat> so, that was Iron Golem. That's why I don't, like, I, I prefer to do the Power Within strat, where I just Power Within and have the impact of the Great Chaos Fireball stagger him, because that feels way more consistent to me than the throw Fireball, then Lava Damage staggers him. Sakides, I did not miss my split. I never miss splits. Even in all bosses, I do not miss splits. Oh right, I'm supposed to kill this bitch. Okay. No, like, I've quite literally never missed a split in my life.
You could watch all of my archives and you'd never see me miss a split. Uh... See ya, Malk. Ooh, perfect. Can you turn your mic up a bit? No? My mic's loud, if anything. If anything, I should turn it down. It's quite loud, actually. <clears throat> Ow! Fuck, my neck. Okay, so rafters. Rafters are an awful place where awful people go. Yes, my splits are not accurate in terms of boss order. Ow, ow. Turn on the game music a bit. Yeah, there's game noise. Game noise. Like, not music, really. Like, I, I everything I have at two. Because two feels like it's loud as hell. I don't know about you people with your sevens and nines even, but two. Two feels nice. Okay, so rafters kind of suck, but now we're moving on to archers. Archers can be bad, they can, they can be quite painful, but there's uh, a tutorial on my YouTube channel on how to do the archers in any run ever if you have literally nothing but a fist and a shield. So the even I'm gonna go with combustions because it's faster than waiting for him to kill himself. But um theoretically if I didn't have any combustions at all I could still kill him. Yeah, could somebody link the video? That'd be great. That'd actually be fantastic. I'd love you. Well, if Twin does it, it's his job. Oh, oh, that was a bad roll. <laughs> Quite possibly the worst roll I've ever had in my life. <laughs> oh, I'm a baddie. <laughs> yes, so that's not supposed to happen. Ow. Come on. Whatever, I'm killing him. Oh, really? It was two? I'll take it. Okay, so now we're in Anorlando. Yay! Fun. Somebody? Can, can, twin, can you link the video? The Oh, there you go. Thank you, Kibatosai. Oh, thank you. I hope that's it. <laughs> Turns out to be some like random ass porn website or something. Just a completely hidden link, because you can do that. I've seen people actually disguise YouTube links, and it's impressive. I'll give them that. So now we have ONS. Um, please be born. <laughs> yes. So now we have ONS, which can be a very annoying fight as Pyro, but we're gonna hopefully do it without it being annoying. Let's let's see. So before reaching Fog Gate, power in. Get our great combustions ready, because that's what we're gonna be using to kill Ornstein. Okay, he's coming over. Oh, he's going to some side. Okay, Ornstein, what are you doing, Broski? Bro. That, you're running away. Like, quite literally, you're trying to escape the boss fight room. Ow. Oh, Smo, please. No, 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 no. Oh, why would Smo shovel there? <sighs> Damn it. They can be really painful sometimes. I hate it. It's okay. Though, like, honestly, I'm really expecting to die against them. 
Bane Hell, you don't want to start doing that. Um, this is your warning, it'll be timed out next time you do it. You're quite literally adding nothing to the existence of any other person on the planet. No, I fucked up. Don't get me wrong, I fucked up. Combination of bad bad luck and me not reading it well. Oh my god, please let me recover my souls. Oh my god, how Ornstein, please. Okay. Oh my god! Stop! Orange Smo! Smo? Smo. Okay. Okay, Ornstein, please. Okay. Orange Smo. Please hit him. Yes. No, 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 no. Oh, I rolled right into that. Oh, I might die. I might die. I might die. Okay. This is a bad choice. Oh my god, I need to stop rolling into that. This is a serious issue. And also, the fact that he keeps doing it is another issue. What the hell am I doing? Okay. Smo? Smo! Quit your shoveling! <sighs> the worst. Now I have to kill him with combustions. Great. Great work, Smo. Okay. So now here's the, the use of the other uh, throwing knives. Um, if I can find them... Okay. So. Here we go. Right in the boob. Well, that was more of her f more of her arm. That's okay. <laughs> so Onas can really be a pain in the ass in this fight, or in this in this run, I guess. <laughs> arm boob, same thing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, so here comes our nice little trippity trip trip. I'm not sure if this is enough souls. This is a this is a bad thing that you should not do. I can get plus fourteen before Seath. I'll have to come back after Seath. Uh, yeah, don't do this. Don't pay attention to me, kids. You want to do all of this after Seath. You don't actually need to save any souls from ONS. Um, after Seath, you'll have enough. Well, I guess you could do this if you want to make Seath easier. Because Seath can be a little pain, pain in the dick sometimes. Oh. Mmm, <coughs> that's getting worse. I had cough. 
Okay. So here comes the Duke skip. Again, my splits are out of order, so that's why it says three kings next. Not four kings. So, yeah, it says three kings is next because my splits are bad. Um, I don't even know where I got these splits from. This is probably like a really bad BKH run I did at some point. <clears throat> I should just get some new ones. If I get like anything sub 130, I think I'll be really happy. So, Duke Skip, I also have a video tutorial about the Duke Skip on my channel. Um, so, if you are having trouble with the Duke Skip, go ahead and check that bad boy out. This is not world record time at all, no. And I'm not really aiming it to be. Anything sub 130 is fine. Thank you, Kipatosai. How bad is it that I'm... How how ignorant is it that I keep wanting to say your name with a friggin' accent? God damn, what's wrong with me? So the reason I'm popping humanities is because I need to have 30 humanities um, by the time I go for Bed of Chaos. So, need to pop them whenever I can. Elevators are a great opportunity. Get exactly three on this one. So, Duke skips not too bad. Um, you know, once you once you're a pro like me. <laughs> uh. Yeah. So I should really rest this safety bonfire. I'm going to. In a in a like a world record run, you don't obviously rest this safety bonfire, but I'm feeling like Seath is gonna kill me. Cause he has some weird hitboxes on some of his stuff. And this is a nice little safety bonfire. Catfish, you just gotta practice. And find a setup that works for you. The setup I use is one handcrafted since basically I began speedrunning. I was like, okay, I need to figure out a way to make this work. How how mechanically can I make this? And or how mechanically can I make like this skip? And two rolls was like the best thing I could do, so And apparently it works for a bunch of other people too, so happy about that. So, um, so Seath shouldn't be a, uh, an issue at all, but I'm bad, so probably going to be an issue. Yeah, five tries is not bad at all, honestly. Water Wazoo, I dream about this game all the time. But then again, I've always been that way. My dreams are very, very uh, similar to, like... <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah, I'm bad. Uh, a lot of my dreams, like all of my life, have been about things that I've done in my life. So, specifically, I vividly remember this dream when I was a kid where uh, I remembered that my brother actually deleted my save on Pokemon. It was a dream. <laughs> and I was like, so, so sad. Like, unbelievably sad. You could not describe the sadness. And then I woke up and was really, really happy to find out that my game was not deleted. Also, Serna, you're great. Stay the way you are. Always. No clams? I think no clams. It didn't actually happen. It was just, it was a dream. And when I woke up, I was really mad at him, and he was really confused. And then I checked my save, and it was fine. I don't, I can't explain it.
So see if it's easy, apparently. When did that happen? Yes, Water Wazoo. I, well, what do you mean by in the game? I'm never, like, immersed as the main character or anything, no. Oh, I should have warped to Daughter Chaos. That's a mistake. Because I need a plus 15 glove to get three kings. Let me go do that. I don't know, I think, like, obviously humans dream about things that, like, um, impact them emotionally. So, like, for example, dreaming about your safe being erased just means that you're, like, emotionally attached to that thing, the, the saves, essentially. And, like, that's just where it comes from, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I'm not a psychologist. I enjoy psychology and understanding it, but I am not a psychologist. <laughs> a big shot, that's an interesting thing, actually. That may, like that could explain that you um that that kind of would explain the fact that you like you would be uh you would really hate it if like a speedrunner bitched you out for that sort of thing like that just shows that that you care i guess how what the runners think about you or big short sorry i apologize like that's just it, it honestly psychology is like one of the most interesting subjects i really just like human nature as a whole it's a really interesting thing to think about so no Stop it! I love you! <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm actually, I wouldn't be surprised if Sanso had had dreams about hitting the world record, like getting the world record and then waking up and being really disappointed in it. And now he has the world record, so he doesn't have to dream about that anymore. He was probably just dreaming about, like, being in Hawaii with topless chicks all over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do normal people dream about? Because I don't dream about that stuff. Well, like... <laughs> sleep obviously exists to... Like, re mentally repair... Like, mentally and physically repair the body. Essentially. Oh, I'm dead. This is death. I'm dead. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I get hit before the ladder and I'm okay. Like, sleep... I don't know. Sleep is a very interesting thing. Human nature as a whole is just a very interesting subject. I really like it. Like, there's a physical reason why we need sleep, and then dreams are just like a... sort of a mental manifestation of... our thoughts. Like, because... I don't know. I'm not sure why, but... Oh, <laughs> bad time to look at chat. That was close. Um, okay, so sorry, I haven't. I've been enthralled in the discussion about psychology. Um, so, ghost house was that a thing? That's what we call it. Ghost house is kind of sucky. Um, it's kind of RNG. Like honestly, the fact that see, every time I say I'm dead and I don't like think about it, I live. So, I don't know. Whatever. I'll take it. <laughs> I should have died there, though. Ooh, perfect. So, there is a Three King setup, and I'm going to attempt to do it. Is it... It's Combustions first, I think. Why would you grab immediately? You're a cock. Such a cock! The first attack grab is like the worst thing that could ever happen. Two, three, four, five. Pop some healing. 
One, two, three, four, heal. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, heal. Boom, 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 boom. Really? This game is taking way too long. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Actually, if I remember correctly, I'm just supposed to great cast fireball this guy to death. Maybe not. I think I, I think I fucked up. <laughs> I honestly don't know what the setup is for three kings. Okay. Oh, I did it. Cool. Didn't even try. Well, I tried, <laughs> but I didn't recognize it. Oh wait, what am I doing? Uh, I need gold hemmed on. Okay. So, the three kings setup, I guess, was that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess. So, basically, it's what you saw there. Five combustions, four great combustions, five combustions, four great combustions, great chaos fireballs, and then combustions. That's about it. And that's assuming you miss no spells. If you miss a uh, great combustion, you're not getting three kings, is what's likely. Um... But if you miss like a combustion or a great cast fireball, you can still get it pretty easy. And then pinwheel, I don't know. I'm assuming it's just great combustions and hope for the best. Like three or whatever. Did I, oh, I didn't get it. There's a cool glitch where if you take damage the second that you start interacting with an object, the object gets interacted with and you just walk away from it. It's very cool. I like it. Um, Catfish, the reason that there's four kings is because the culmination of all of their health, of four kings' health, is the health bar that you see. Did I... Oh, I missed the king of humanity! No! That was like the one... I had one job! Ugh. Whatever. So if you land on that bone wheel, you should have no bone wheels. Seems Seems legit. Uh, but the reason that there's four, they're called four kings is because, yeah, they have a shared HP pool. The only reason that you can get less is overkilling, basically. The fact that overkilling exists. I guess it's four. That's okay. What shield is this? It's the Tower Kite shield. Bought it from Andre. <laughs> that was close. Man, pinwheel. I guess it's four gray combustions, which is kind of gross. I kind of want those for Nito. <laughs> That's okay. Actually, I could probably do it with three gray combustions, two combustions, just to have an extra thing for Nito. Oh yeah, so Tomb of the Giants. You run towards that, hug the wall, then go straight and jump. You'll land on that. Then just one roll right, hug this wall until you reach the fog wall. If you hug it tight enough, the skeleton beast won't attack you. Get to the fog wall, walk through it. Aim towards the light part, Run. Straight towards the light, as you can see. You land here, roll right, land here, run around the skeleton, jump up here, Here's the, there's the silver covetous serpent ring, run here, roll, and there we go. To the giants. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's all there is to Team of the Giants. Not even hard. Bro, do you even darkness? It's really easy. Like, again, more just memory. Um, even if you roll at the edge, it's fine. 
Like, you can actually make it... Oh my god, with my guard up too? Impressive shot, skeleton. I give you props. Um, even if you roll then, you can still make it up to the serpent ring, the silver covetous serpent ring. And then even if you don't, you can just hug the wall all the way out of, until you go leave Tomb of the Giants. This is what I want. This is what I want. Perfect. And thank you, Nito. Love you. Hugs and kisses to you, Nito. You are the greatest. Oh, I need to ask this bad. Thank you, Nito, for being such a kind gentleman. I would say that that boss fight was neat O. Oh. I have exactly enough humanities. I got really lucky there. <laughs> well, I had one extra. That's okay. Hey guys, so here's the part where you ask me questions in chat. Come on. Well, happy birthday to your anti-escapist. <laughs> Favorite color? Burnt orange. I have seen a man naked before. Didn't quite enjoy it. Quailag or butterfly? Quailag, hands, hands down. Uh, humanities do a lot of stuff. Did you bring the up dog? What's up, dog? Ho 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 ho! I have tried playing with mouse and keyboard. Gave up. Favorite type of penis? Circumcised. <laughs> Let's keep going. Come on, keep the questions rolling. I'm, I'm going crazy here. Top half spider, bottom half human. Easy. Mixed drink? Good question. Mm. Hang on, I gotta think about this one. I'm gonna go with rum and coke. No tattoos, I'm 19. I have never speedrun Diablo 2. What did you do when you have to use the restroom in the middle of a run? Just hold it in. Favorite Dark Souls YouTuber, ENB. ASL. Um, 19 male, Donner's Grove, Illinois. How much wood could wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Uh, I'd say about 7 logs. How much of speedrunning is muscle memory and how much do you wing it? All of it? <laughs> um. Oh, Jesus Christ. Pepsi or Coke? Coke. Uh. Circumference of a moose? Don't know. He may gives you. Okay, that's. Um. Why does your character look like a burden victim? Troll Mojo, you've asked this before. You're trying too hard a little bit. Favorite game to watch be speedrun? Spyro 3. Oh my god, we're almost done here. Favorite drug? I'm um, sober. Maybe do Magicka tomorrow, yeah. Favorite weapon to use in PvP? I don't PvP, I don't enjoy it. Favorite Dark Souls we weapon? Uh, I'd go with Blacksmith Giant Hammer. Favorite Spyro Speedrunner? Um, between Spudley and Nitrovsky. Mm. I would definitely cuddle with Cerno. 
Troll, somebody else answered you. I, they definitely answered you. Coffee or soda? Soda. I hate coffee. Favorite pony? I'm gonna go with Fluttershy. What got me into speedrunning? Siglemic. Oh, look at that, we're done. <laughs> yeah! So, that was a pretty solid Q&A session. I should do that more often. I'm not a brony. <laughs> I only know the names of, like, what, Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash... That's it? Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Twilight Sparkle, is it? Do I study or work? Um, well, I'm currently a full-time student. Um, but, I don't know. I kind of want to make uh, some, some, like, form of internet media my work, to be honest. I'm currently studying to become a physics professor, though, in case you were wondering. Well, teacher, I guess. Yeah, no damage on that fall. If you roll... Uh, right, like, if you have the invincibility frames directly inside the fall damage portion, which you can only do by rolling halfway down and then rolling near the bottom, um, you actually just avoid damage. Did I forget a bow? Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Oh, no. Professor sounds better, I agree. I forgot a bow, guys. Um, recovery strat. Uh, YOLO jumps. Done. This is bad. This is real bad. I don't do better chaos without a bow. I was supposed to grab that new Londo, wasn't I? Shit. Oh, okay. Welp. Is there a bow nearby? No, there's not. I have... Three throwing knives. That's not enough. <laughs> Welp. This is awkward. Do I have... I have one humanity left. I'm low on healing items. That's the thing, I don't ever do melee BOC. So, I don't know how. Like, I've made the jump before, but then I die. I'm not good at this. I can't do this. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Thanks, Trek has. Uh, no, Catfish. The issue with throwing knives is that I don't have enough. It takes minimum four projectiles to shoot the second thing. Attorney, I've tried it before. I'm bad at it. Don't worry. <laughs> Just leave me. <laughs> Start a left swing, right? No. I'm gonna start right, because that's what I know. I'm... you know what I'm gonna do? I can get to the second one easy. I'm just gonna quit reload after I break the second node. That's what I'm gonna do. Come on. Yes! That's what I'll do. I have a plan. Plan of action. Alright, just do your hand swipe. I kinda I kinda wanted to take the BOC taxi today, but you know, that's okay. Oh, that's what I expected. It's just about what I expected.
Oh, oh, that was a that was a mistake. That was a bad mistake. Oh Christ. Alright. Did it! <laughs> well, I mean the fight's not over. But I did it! <laughs> okay. I don't know how, but I did it. It's not cheating. Dark Souls cheats. Gotta use all of your resources that you can. Also, staying right here is actually the most optimal way of going down the slide, so you won't break that branch. Because breaking the branches delays you by like a quarter of a frame. I did, Catfish, I did. You got me. I, oh god! Oh, I didn't get hit there. That's impressive. I always get hit there. Now I get hit there. Oh my god, BOC, you have the like the optimal timing for you. Okay. BOC was just it, planning that shit. Was ready for it. I'm gonna get a f firestorm in here though. That's not gonna be good. Also, fun fact, this little parasite is 100% immune to fire. Oh, well, there's the firestorm. <laughs> hey guys, look, I'm ahead of my splits. I did it. Look at all of these souls I have. Good God, I don't need this many. You sorry fool. This is actually a solid time. Holy crap. All of the vitality. Name's Dallas. I gave my humanity to her because um, I needed to in order to open up a shortcut. Uh, the reason I needed to open the shortcut is because um, there's a boss that the shortcut circumvents that is 100% fire resistant. So I would need to grab the crystal halberd, and it would oh, it would be gross. It'd be just real gross. Nobody would want to see that. This is my first time doing a pyro run in months. <laughs> well, not actual months. I just don't do pyro runs ever. And this is actually going to be sub 115? Yeah. Yeah, it skips Fire Sage and Centipede. Turns out Fire Sage is actually a copy paste um, of uh, Stray Demon. So he has absolutely no fire resistance. But Centipede has nothing but fire resistance. Uh, you physically cannot damage Centipede with fire. Um, yes, yeah, Centipede Demon could fall through the floor, but that's like a very rare glitch and nobody has been able to truly replicate it, so I'm going to avoid trying to use it until we actually understand it. Because it's not consistent. Yeah, no problem, Dallas. No problem. And here is the part where we get to laugh at Gwyn and say, Dance, puppet! Dance! Dance, my puppet. Why did I... Oh. Dance, my puppet. Dance for me! <laughs> so anyway, that's Gwyn. <laughs> Sweet. That's actually a really good time. I want to see game time. G fucking G. One thirteen thirteen. I will take that with stride. Oh my god.